hello guys welcome to my channel if you are an engineer you must have heard about the word segregation of concrete or if you don't know about a word segregation of concrete so you are on the right place in this video i am going to tell you about the causes types and prevention of segregation of concrete the prevention of segregation is very important because it adversely affect the properties of concrete so in this video i am going to discuss all about segregation but before we start our today's topic if you are new to my channel you are requested to please subscribe it and press the bell icon to get video updates so let's start our today's topic what is segregation well segregation can be defined in many ways for example concrete segregation means separation of concrete ingredients from each other resulting in the non uniform mix leading to a weak and porous concrete segregation of concrete is the separation of cement paste and aggregates of concrete from each other during handling and placement segregation of concrete is the separation of ingredients in concrete it occurs during the transporting handling and placing of concrete it can also be defined as separation of coarse aggregates from the mortar because of differences in size density shape and other properties of ingredients in which they are composed what are the types of segregation there are two types of segregation first one is segregation due to separation of grout grout means water plus cement okay grout separating out from the rest of the material because of lowest specific gravity this type of segregation may occur if the concrete is too wet as you can see over here in this picture a well designed concrete does not segregate if properly mixed and batched the other type of segregation is due to separation of aggregates the coarser and heavier particles tend to separate out or setting down from the rest of the mix because they tend to travel faster along a slope or a settle or settle more than finer materials this is the type of segregation which may occur if the concrete mix is too dry as you can see over here in this picture now coming towards the causes of segregation the first one is the difference in the specific gravity of the mix constitutes that is fine aggregates and coarse aggregates improper handling of aggregates or difference in the aggregate sizes or bad practices and handling and transporting of the concrete too much vibration of the concrete also causes segregation placing of concrete from a greater height is also the one of the reason of segregation concrete is discharged from a badly designed mixture or from a mixture with worn out blades or the causes could be improper mixing of concrete ingredients or the reason could be excess use of water or difference in the aggregate sizes or due to improper handling of concrete segregation could be due to improper vibration of concrete improper transportation of concrete and long time mixing of concrete these were the few causes of segregation now coming towards the most important question that how can we prevent segregation prevention of segregation is very important as it adversely affects the properties of concrete how could it be prevented here are some of the preventions that at the time of construction especially while using transit mixers care should be taken that concrete is not poured from a height greater than 1.5 meters maintain proper proportioning of the mix care should be taken while handling placing transporting and finishing aggregate should be properly graded as it will prevent the segregation to improve the viscosity of concrete which prevents the segregation air entertaining agents add mixtures and pozzolanic materials could can be used in case of mass concreting where mechanical vibrators are used care should be taken that they are not used for longer period that's all for today i hope this video must have added some knowledge to you 
and for more videos you are requested to please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to get video updates thanks for watching